Good day everybody. I am Kenya and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to tell you how to social climb. So this is the art of social climbing 101, okay? You want to be the next Meghan Markle. You want to climb your way up into high society, royalty, and marry yourself a prince? <laughs> Let me help you out. So I am Professor Kenya, but you can just call me Kenya, but Welcome to class. So number one, don't be obvious. And I know you're probably sitting there looking at yourself or almost thinking to yourself, Kenya girl, why would I make it obvious that I'm trying to social climb? Now, I recently met a girl who made it known that she only wants to befriend women who can benefit her and help her get, you know, up there to clank, you know, glasses with the upper class, the upper echelon, the high society. And then she went on to tell me how she was throwing her old friends away and trying to exchange them and upgrade them up for better friends. Yeah. It was pretty obvious and I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> Number two, you want to find a tribe or a group of people that is true to you. Now for me, I'm into real estate. I'm really into like the affordable housing arena and things of that nature. So I'm going to go towards people who are in that area. These will be people that I have a common interest with. We can genuinely talk about things. However, if I am Kenya, pretty nerdy, pretty much into the occult and read a lot of books and things, and then I go try to befriend people from like the cast of like Love and Hip Hop. And you know, they're going out, they're turning up, they're throwing back bottles of champagne and just twerking on a gram. That ain't my tribe or group of people. Like, we're... No, girl. That's not... Mm -mm. You find a tribe or a group of people with similar interests. You know? Number three. Be genuine. Be likable. Okay? People like genuine people. Likable people. They will befriend you if they actually like you. Now, if you are someone who is fake or you're coming off as being fake, you know, not genuine, guess what? A lot of these circles are, they seem big, but they're so small. And where it gets around, we're like, oh, that girl, mm-mm. She's fake. Mm, she's social climbing. I don't know what she's doing. And people won't deal with you. <laughs> Let me tell you, word of mouth spreads faster than anything. Just be a good person and it will spread. And then people will want to know who you are. And they'll befriend you. Yeah. Also, number four, don't burn bridges. You know what I'm saying? Don't think, okay, I am, you know, a little further up the ladder. Oh, I don't need you. So then you burn that bridge all the way down to the ground. Don't do that. Because as I've told another friend, this is like an old saying. The same people that you see on your way up will be the same people that you see if you happen to fall back down. And you don't want to have to fall back down and see those same people that you burn those bridges with. Because you might fall down down and they still may be ahead of you. Don't do that. Because even if you do have some missteps, um, those people that were on your journey as you were traveling up, Maybe they're to assist you, help you out, you know, give you some kind words of advice, some advice, put you in contact with people who can benefit you, you know what I'm saying? So don't burn bridges. Number five, be able to bring something to the table of value. Okay, so I'm into real estate. I love it. I love discussing like affordable housing, low income housing. At the moment, let me show you what I'm reading. Hold on. So I took a course, um, it was the Affordable Housing Professional of New Jersey. And one of the books that they suggested that we read was, I think it might be, it's called Generation Priced Out, Who Gets to Live in the New Urban America by Randy Shaw. We were told to read this, Color of Law. So I'm going to genuinely have something to contribute to the conversation when I'm amongst P 
people, you know, and the social group that, you know, I'm trying to be a part of, you know what I'm saying? Just knowledge, real estate knowledge, the knowledge that I have from renting apartments, what it's like to rent in the inner city, what is it like to rent in, you know, certain neighborhoods. I can bring that to the table, you know what I'm saying? My experience as a property manager, I can bring that value to the table. Just two weeks ago, a girl contacted me. She's saying she's in between jobs. She used to be a property manager. Um, she wants to get into real estate. However, she's not licensed yet. I gave her a contact number to someone in her area that was hiring and told her, listen, call them and see if you can get hired. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure what happens. I never follow back up with her, but I bring something of value. You know what I'm saying? So bring something of value to the table. Don't just be sitting around not saying nothing, listening to everybody else talk, collecting what's going on in your brain so you can try to figure out how to use it on your own. Be someone who can bring something, you know, whether it be humor, wit, motivation, knowledge on that topic, but be someone who can contribute to that, that social circle. Do you get what I'm saying? If that makes any sense to you. Number six, don't be thirsty. Don't be thirsty. People can tell when you are thirsty. And say for instance, I meet someone like, let's see. I run into Oprah Winfrey, which is probably, I probably have a better chance of getting hit by a car. But, however, if I do, um, I'd be like, hey, Oprah, Miss Oprah, you know, I love you. Been watching you since I was a kid. Love the color purple. You know, I might request her on Instagram. Now, I might follow over on Instagram, like a few of her photos, but I'm not going to be sliding in her DMs every day, tweeting her every day. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if Oprah, you know, she's feeling me, she might give me her business card. I ain't going to be blowing up her phone. You know, if I find out Oprah is going to be at an event, now I got to show up at the event and be, hey, Oprah, remember me? Like, no, don't be thirsty. Relax, chillax, chill. You know? Just don't seem too eager to be a part of a friend's group. You know what I'm saying? Or a social circle. Because a lot of the time these people already have their friendship groups established. And then when you're a newcomer, they're sort of like, you know, they want to see what you're about before they really start to embrace you and invite you out places. And when you're doing too much, it could just be a turn off. Okay. And number seven, do not try to pick someone's brain for free. So say for instance, you meet a um, millionaire, a restauranteur who is very successful and they have lots of restaurants open in several cities. They're a millionaire. They're very successful and they have other business ventures. Now say for instance, you just happen to go out with a few friends and you meet this person that's successful. Usually people want to relax. Successful people, millionaires, wealthy people, they want to relax. And so they don't want to come to relax to sit at a table to have someone that they don't know pick their brain for free. Meaning, you're sitting across from them like, oh, you own restaurants. Well, what age did you get started? How much money did you put down? How do you think it is to run these restaurants? Is it hard? How was it for a woman entrepreneur? Like, you just start going in on the questions. That's not what we gonna do. And people usually charge people to pick their brains. It's called the consultation. And most people spend years and years becoming successful. And there are so many people always asking them how they become successful and only wanna befriend them because they are successful. And they want to basically pick their brains for free to get the information that they need, but they have no genuine interest in that person. And people like that get sick of people doing that to them. And so that is a red flag of like, girl, fall back, hold on. I'm just out here trying to relax. And yeah, don't start asking someone a million and one questions about their business when you just met them. And this all goes back to being likable. When people like you and they genuinely want to befriend you, they will put you on to, to money. They will tell you how to go about being successful or they will connect you with someone who will 
So when I was young, I had a girlfriend who was doing like pro modeling work, influencer work. This was before like YouTube was a thing. And she would put me on. She'd be like, oh girl, um, I just booked this event. You know what I'm saying? Um, here goes the contact number. Send them your headshot and your promotional modeling resume. She genuinely liked me. So she gave me that contact information. However, if she wasn't really feeling me like that, she wouldn't have gave me that information. And I got a lot of opportunities just by being likable and people just wanting to genuinely just to befriend me. And number eight, you have to act like you are already that person in that position. So if you want to be part of high society, maybe practice your speech start speaking better you know what i'm saying start dressing the parts you know what i'm saying if you want to be a part of like the new york city high society if you start dressing like that or whatever social circle you're trying to be a part of if it's hip-hop figure out urban street style street fashion you know what i'm saying you don't gotta go too hard and start talking with a black scent if that's not you if that's not how you talk just focus and just put yourself in that position um, and then you'll attract whatever it is you're trying to become basically but be positive about it and most of all be a good person and that is all so thank you for coming to my TED talk and <laughs> I will see you guys in my next YouTube video